Okay. You say you don't feel it. Well, you probably did not stick your hand down inside of my pants far enough. <laughs> no, seriously. You probably did not stick your hands far enough because all of your fucking jokes I had enough. I'll drop your ass off in the bluff where your motherfucking skirt will not touch your goddamn thigh because that bitch will be cut up so fucking high because I want my motherfucking money and my odds and ends like Marx Maxwell but it's not funny the sublime significance of nothingness I'll make you come back with nothing bitch if you ever fuck with me I'm the one who had 187 hours of game before the fucking film boss came but the film boss been around since a long time Cause sometimes I just act motherfucking crazy all the time. I could put your ass on hold so I can go to the store, is what I say. But I really went downstairs in the parking lot and I sold some yay. They say, what do you get from the store? I got a blunt. But it was still drug related, you motherfucking cunt. So honestly, I did not lie. You came and smoked and you did not get high. Because I was scaring your ass, you was fucking terrified. Kept being paranoid, how in the fuck I gonna steal it from you? When you come and spend $50 with me, bitch, and I have so much money in my bank, I have a partition, bitch. A partition is like if you have like a million dollars and then I can put a partition for like 950 million and that is how much that bar will go up and then you will only see like I have like 500 motherfucking thousand. I be counting my Bitcoin by 32s cause James is what he came to do and then I said hold on, hold on because this lady is coming in and I do not want her to see me having all of this equipment out because this is the lady from that program that I am supposed to be in because it is, it is almost 7 o'clock. So, I am supposed to... Someone meet that fucking bitch out! If that fucking bitch comes inside of here, I swear to God, I will have to fucking kill her. Oh, shit. I didn't hit the blunt and accidentally turned into Rob. Oh, shit. He tried to steal Rob's rhymes and turned into Rob. Ain't that a bitch? I am going to be interested in to hear how you turned into Rob. Well, I was looking for a job, smoked some weed, and I turned into Rob. All of a sudden, I ain't had no job. It was all good. Only thing I had to do was just sit in the hood. Cause I can play basketball very motherfucking good. <laughs> yeah, I can play basketball motherfucking good. Only thing is I have this annoying voice. That voice that you really fucking hate. That voice that you did not want me to put out on YouTube. But when I asked you to come and do the part two, you said yes, but then you did not do it. So I had already made this other part right here through your beat just in case you didn't do it. Yo, but I am going to be serious. Yo, uh, this guy's the James in this bitch. Look at my neck, look at my... <laughs> Look at my neck, look at my wrist, look at my dog, the dog is like, <laughs> Yo. Oh. In Los Angeles? In motherfucking heaven? <laughs> no. Uh. No. Uh. This is the shit that Rock would say. I would say, I don't give a fuck if you would die today because I'm on the motherfucking low. But I can't even rap like that nigga Rob. So I'ma have to go to a nigga that like to rob. To a nigga that like to steal. To a nigga that don't give a fuck if he have to kill. If he have to peel a nigga's cap like a banana. Because I have to go from Los Angeles to Atlanta where I be cocking hammers. And I don't give a fuck because I'll run up on you. And I'll knock your ass out. I'll slap your ass in the goddamn car in front of your motherfucking 
fucking family And they'll be pulling out their pistols But they'll be like, I ain't gonna bust on that nigga You gotta get with him You can't be no fucking hoe Cause you gonna go to the motherfucking morgue With a tag on your toe And that bitch will say, Gangsta James did it I'm with it, and I'm committed To the motherfucking halfway house And bullshit it, the motherfucking P.O. So we go somewhere, motherfucking Prego Is this says she was like Prego But I was trying to talk about that it's pesto, nigga so presto, nigga, when I eat at Zesto's, cause I be coming through and I be trying to knock the best hoe, saying yes hoe, or no hoe, or maybe no bitch, because you know how the shit get, that nigga Rob can talk about how he flip a bitch, but I just stand there thinking about some shit, and I take the bitch somewhere, and we have been and made a motherfucking adventure when we come back, and she had to get with the nigga and step up in the center, and I had to slip the bitch a Mickey, but I did not... Give a fuck if I was talking about slipping the bitch's mickeys Cause I talk about some shit worse than killing the bitch and ripping up out her kidney Cause I'm the motherfucking king of torture and I hurt her And I already done walked around New York and fucking scorched her And now I'm walking around back Atlanta But this shit is about Los Angeles so I have to have a motherfucking blue rag Nigga with my blue dad, nigga a blue dad I'm talking about some type of something that I was going to make it sound like a motherfucking blue dolphin or something. But niggas kept coming, knocking at the door, and I didn't say nothing. So here was my chance to say something. So I had to say something that would bump like a barbecue in Compton. Nigga already made a song about some shit like that. Because my name is Gangsta James and I used to have a black lack. I'm just bullshitting. I ain't have a motherfucking car till I was getting a real motherfucking job. And that was when I was like 30. Now I was like dirty on the motherfucking nigga. My tablet just went off like, look at me, nigga. So I turned around and then I seen a nigga kill a nigga. But it was just another nigga. He just shot back and I ain't give a fuck, motherfucker. Because I'm a pop back. Nigga saw him just stop. That everything you doing and join the 55th Street Crips and it'll ruin your motherfucking life. But you'll feel good for one night. Cause you'll fuck a bitch and get killed for one strike. Nigga rap a mic and nigga get one mic. God damn nigga, what the fuck is that like? If you got a voice and the one is listening, but I'm missing in the babies that get to court, they be christening. I don't even know what the fuck that mean. Like when I said health to skelter and ain't know what that mean. But Biggie said something like that shit. But Biggie Biggie to me was a bitch because he had beef with Tupac. So who shot? Why the fuck would you say some shit like that? Because if I got shot, I'll come back and have beef with your ass too. Because if you ain't pull the trigger, what the fuck you talking about, fool? But if I was Tupac, I'd make a ballad of a dead soldier with you shot. Nigga, yeah, cause Tupac was my motherfucking cousin And I ain't trippin', nigga Look up and see me if he was or if he wasn't Name Lee Shane Crooks And my name is OG Gangsta James Crooks So you better look deep in my eyes And you'll see that the shark deep in these dives All the way down to the bottom I pulled out the motherfucking pistol And I ain't have to shot him I choked him by his motherfucking neck and I've been rapping for a long time. I gotta go get some shit up out the car cause I don't stay that far. I gotta go to the store and get a cigar. And I was drinking and I was thinking that I was gonna talk like Rob, but I was getting another different vibe. So I had to go and put it down the normal way that I be talking my shit and be doing my shit. Just trying to be like somebody else and you'll ruin your shit.